everyone and welcome back to Carmen Kismet. My name is Kelly and today we are going to be making our second piece of our new Wemo. So today what we're going to be doing is making a shirt to match our pants that we have for Donald. So if you haven't seen the video on the pants, make sure to check that out. I'm going to link it below. Um, I'm also going to look at the blog post that has the patterns for both the shirt and the pants as well as a dress, which I will do another video on in the future so you guys can check that out as well. But let's get started. So you don't need a ton of things to make these clothing pieces for your new emos. You will need that pattern that I said from the blog, some fabric of your choice. I'm using kind of like a felt fabric here that's just gonna be easier to use. Um, you'll need some scissors, some pins, and then Velcro. Once you have all of your materials together, go ahead and cut out the patterns. So you're gonna need to do two pieces of the shirt back as well as the sleeves. So just be careful of that, that you're making sure to cut out all that you need before we get started. The next thing we're gonna do is pin these seams that we're gonna make. So I'm doing a one quarter inch seam allowance for each of these sides, and you'll see which ones you need to create that seam on um, for each of the pieces that we're doing. So once you've pinned everything, you can go ahead and start sewing. Make sure that you are doing a back stitch on the beginning and end of each of the lines that you're doing. Um, this is gonna keep it more secure and just make sure that those pieces of fabric are gonna stay where you want them to stay. Now we can begin constructing the shirt. So you're going to place the back of the shirt on top of the front of the shirt. So right way together. And then you're going to sew right at the top there where you can see I'm showing you right now. Next, you're gonna pin the sleeves to the body of the shirt. So this can be a little bit tricky, but what you wanna make sure you do is just use as many pins as possible to get that the way that you want it to be. Next, go ahead and sew on the sleeves. Now you're going to have most of your shirt together, so we're going to fold it in half with right sides facing each other and we're going to finish off those ends that we haven't sewn yet. So the last step is if you just wanna add some Velcro to the back of the shirt, that'll help it just stay securely. You don't have to do this, but I definitely suggest it. It'll fit better on your new email.
And that's it for today. This is how you're going to be making your t-shirt for your new emo if you would like to do that. As I said before, I will also link the video below that has the information on how to create these pants for your new emo so you can make a cute little matching set like I did for mine here. So again, like I said before, you can grab all of these patterns actually on our blog, so that's going to be linked below. And make sure that if you do use our pattern that you tag us on Instagram. I would love to see how your new emos are being dressed up with all of your creations and definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I'm going to be posting more videos on how to create some new emo clothing. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you again soon.